with all of the states at least partially reopened, the big question now is how to get the American economy running at full steam once again and how to do it safely. Here to talk more about that is Elizabeth McDonald, host of Fox Business Network's The Evening at It's Seen Weeknights at 6 p.m. And Elizabeth, the Federal Reserve is sounding the alarm over permanent damage to the U.S. economy because of coronavirus-related lockdowns. If they're right, how do we fix that? Well, I would question whether it's permanent because mm -hmm. nothing is permanent in an economy. Um, the CBO is seeing a 38% to the downside uh, contraction. Um, to get out of it, we follow what eight parts of Asia did. They've been living in the backyard of China with SARS and MERS outbreaks for decades. And we're now seeing common sense measures taken in various states to reopen. And that is, of course, social distancing. We're seeing kiosks and shopping malls that'll take your temperature. We're, we're uh, seeing companies like Walmart, you know, taking the temperature of workers coming in. So it's how do you mitigate risk by reopening? There will always be risk, but how do you mitigate it? Um, we've lived through this country, of course, the 1918 pandemic. We've lived through the H1N1, the flu uh, in 57 and 68, 69. There was never a wholesale national shutdown. There was a mitigation of risk by stopping large gatherings wearing face masks and doing social distancing. We've been here before. This country could probably do it again. All right, you've used the term great suppression to describe what we're living through. What do you mean by that? So that means that the various governors across the country have moved forward to suppress their economies to stop the outbreak. It's not a, it's basically, uh, everything is man-made, but this is more a, a chosen voluntary suppression of the economy, whereas a depression or recession is triggered by a number of things, an oil price shock or, you know, interest rates spiking higher, a credit debt market problem. So, you know, now that we have this Great Depression, there's a way to stop the Great Depression and unlock the economy. Yeah, it's been really terrible. More than 38 million American jobs have disappeared in a matter of weeks. Will they come back or are they gone forever? They'll, they'll come back in a different way. This economy is changing rapidly. And so what we're seeing is destruction, of course, with small businesses and restaurants and bars, retail. We know that already. But that economic, it's not a zero-sum game. It's not like all of a sudden it vaporizes and never comes back. Yeah, there's cash problems with a lot of American households because they don't have the income to buy things. So once the economy gets back online, consumers will start spending again. So there is room for optimism here. Wow. All right, last question. Has this crisis pointed out a glaring weakness in the U.S., the lack of an American manufacturing base? Yeah, absolutely, and it's been crumbling since the 80s. So we've shifted from a manufacturing base starting in the 80s toward a more of a services economy. And now we're seeing the president talking about bringing back drug supply chains, other manufacturing, PPE for things like ventilators back into the U.S. Mm -hmm. So that is the way right now. Is that the, is that the way to go? The Americans like it because it creates jobs. We're seeing supply chains moving rapidly right now out of China. I'm just tracking it right now with Morgan Stanley and Goldman Sachs, what they're seeing, what China is losing. So worldwide, the global economy is shifting. And, we're, and yeah, what was what was good today was to see the slowdown in jobless claims. Mm -hmm. It came in around two million. Yes, yeah, 38 million. That's agony. That's painful. The American people are suffering, and it's time for you know to have another maybe another another approach, common sense approach to reopening the economy. All right, Elizabeth McDonald, host of Fox Business Network's The Evening Edit, seen weeknights at 6 p.m. Thanks for being here today. Anytime. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and then click on the bell to get instant updates about all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.